So I've always been into technology and I've always really been into painting and the visual arts. And in this world, those two separate subjects are very far apart from each other. They don't really delve into one another. So what I wanted to do with my art was I want to create a new platform in which to view art through science and technology. We're physical creatures, but in a digital world, it's harder to understand abstract concepts. So one way to mesh it easier with human nature is to make it a physical reality. So one way to do that would be with virtual reality, with the Oculus Rift. I wanted to create data interfaces that allow us to learn in a more intuitive manner. So the Oculus Rift is a headset that you put on. It has two lenses that go over your right and left eye. And what it does is it simulates perception of a human. So essentially getting two different uh, LCD panels and then putting them over each eye. So it has gyroscopic sensors on it, which means that you tilt your head this way and then digi it translates digitally and then in the virtual reality, it will turn the avatar's head. You can actually do is put your hand in front of the sensor and the computer will actually create a 3D model of it like that. So by using that technology, I was able to write programs that basically trigger events when your hand deals with the physical object. So for example, I created a file management system where dragging the file across the 3D world copies it. And then I was able to integrate it with the energy lab, so live data from like the CO2 sensors, which show up here and you'd be able to walk around a virtual energy lab and see things that you wouldn't be able to see in real life. By creating a whole new platform in which to view art, a way in which the experience of physically being there is replicated through this four-dimensional lens, is which I call it. From there, I put music, I made this whole environment, and then I got my high-resolution images, and then I blew them up to wall size. So when you immerse yourself into this reality that I've created, it's a whole different experience. It's a different experience, not only for me, but just for anyone viewing my art. The scale of art is extremely important for the whole experience of it, so blowing them up to wall size shows the possibilities of virtual realities and art galleries. One of the main advantages with using virtual reality over conventional learning is that, back to the idea that we are physical creatures, memories are much stronger when they're established in a physical location. So, for example, if you read about the human body in an anatomy textbook, you may learn facts, but to actually see a 3D body, to be able to actually walk through it and see how the parts mesh with each other, the educational aspects and creating a more real world through virtual reality is where I'd like to go with this. So my independent research project and the eLab, Dr. Bill, they all allow me the creative freedom to achieve what I want ultimately through art and through technology. And so the ability to have these kind of resources available allows me to incorporate my ideas in, and execute them exactly in the way I want to. Well, thanks to the resources here, I've been able to actually play around with the Oculus Rift, create my own programs and actually test them in real life rather than just read about it on the internet. So I guess having a hands-on approach and being able to create your own solutions has been a very important part of the learning process.